Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, uh, so let's uh, do the deltoid of this uh, model which is in the third part. So uh, deltoids are generally the shoulder cups popularly known. So we are going to build this part and uh, as you could see uh, even the clavicle part has to be done so I'm going to do this area and then cover that deltoids so a clavicle bone is slightly arched so I keep in I keep that in mind and then adjust certain points here one by one okay it should be slightly arched like that Once you have done this adjustment, you can also do the adjustment of the vertices which are falling here, okay, in the in the middle. Okay, so I've adjusted the clavicle uh, as per the clavicle bone. Okay, now if you could see, uh, this is the shoulder cup and the flow extends that way. So I'm going to select this lines. Okay, and then extrude it like that and match to the outline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then put it in the middle and make sure that it's uh, in straight line and then just place it somewhere here. Okay, so let's have a look on the deltoid carefully. So if you could see deltoid is connected to the clavicle. Okay. And uh, there is a small pet uh, which I was talking, a small cavity there. And then um, it extends to the upper arm, upper part of the arm. And then uh, if you could see, this is like a drop shape. Okay, but this drop is reverse. So this is the shape what I need to get uh, for the deltoid. Okay. <coughs> so I'll be adding some lines here. So I use uh, multi cut and then add uh, a line and then bring it forward just it makes uh, the whole thing look round and uh, I will add uh, a bevel which will without affecting that it gives the it gives a roundness so I'm going to choose okay so I will select these lines and then just move it back side okay this goes to the back side of the model so I have got the reference here for the background also so I'll load the reference So uh, if you could see we have uh, 
थ्री ऑर्थोग्राफिक व्यूज ओके सो वन इज अ फ्रंट द साइड एंड द टॉप सो इन द फ्रंट आई नीड टू क्रिएट वन मोर ऑर्थोग्राफिक व्यू एंड आई आई क्रिएट दैट बाय पैनल्स ऑर्थोग्राफिक ओके न्यू बैक ओके सो दिस गिव्स यू अ न्यू कैमरा लेट मी हैव अ लुक ऑन आउटलाइनर and uh, sometimes i accidentally create cameras so i delete uh, there's a camera cool bottom let's delete so go to panels orthographic new back so you should able to see that back view okay and uh, let's load the image in this back view okay that's the image If you remember this particular image, it was scaled to three. So I'll select this image. And then put it to three. Okay. Now the issue is like we need to uh, properly uh, place this uh, references. Okay. So I'll bring up. all the cameras and uh, you should able to see this is uh, the back camera you could able to see that camera here okay this is back camera and also select the front camera i don't know where it is here okay so one thing you should uh, you know adjust here is this is the front camera this is carrying this image plane okay so between camera and the image plane is the model okay camera its image plane and the model now this is the back camera and this is the image plane now what i need to do is bring it here now the problem is when the back camera is seeing the model and it has a reference okay but what is coming in the middle is the image plane so what you need to do is you need to push that beyond the image plane so this camera is not blocked by any image plane so camera sees the model and after that you got image plane very similarly camera you have here image plane should be behind that okay so camera sees the model and there's a image plane there's nothing in the middle so let me come to the front view i could see the image plane okay let me go to the back view and there's a image plane and you should able to see that's uh, back image and that's a back side of the model okay let me go the other way try to put this image plane before the cameras okay now let me see the front view you should able to see in the front view i am not able to see the model and the reason is this image plane is blocking it very similarly i'll go to the back view again i am not able to see the things okay so select that image plane and then try to match it and then move it behind the camera so okay this is camera okay you need to understand that so front view so you have back view okay back view perfectly loaded so i select that image plane go to the attribute editor and just make it dark as we were doing it okay so when you are modeling this part might be too much uh, disturbing your view in that case you can select the model and you can go to display uh, polygons and enable back face culling to avoid any issues okay so for time being i switch off the polygon display here and then try to talk about the deltoids a little bit so <coughs> so 
so you could see here this is the reference uh, what I am modeling and here is what I have got some anatomical reference and you should be able to see this white part is the scapula which is a shoulder blade it's a model it's a bone uh, on the back side of the rib cage just like clavicle is on the front side of uh, the model you should be able to see the clavicle is on the front side on the back side you got the scapula okay now you need to keep that uh, scapula angle in mind in the neutral pose okay that angle and uh, that is where the deltoids start above that scapula what you are able to see is the muscle called trapezius muscle okay so here we have a gap that's again you can uh, touch and feel uh, in your neck also that is the spinal cord bone so you got the vertebra which is uh, cervical vertebra then you got thoracic then you got lumbar vertebra that spinal cord is divided into three so the cervical vertebras uh, i think ninth uh, vertebra landmark point it is so from there you got uh, this small uh, rhombus shape uh, pit and then you got the muscles from the bottom of the skull okay and this uh, muscle is visible from the front side also here okay so we'll take care of that uh, while we doing this thing but right now i need to concentrate on this um, muzzle so I just go here and uh, as you were seeing this is very important the angle of the scapula the shoulder blade and uh, this one okay so as I told you this looks like a water drop but in a reverse side and also go to the side view and then see where this line is sometimes uh, back face culling can create a big problem so I'll go to the display polygons I switch off the back face culling and then select that vertex points and then go to the side view and then match that roundness So I'll just try to make it uh, round. So I'm going to select that edge and then bevel it. I'll use the slide edge tool. and then again slide edge tool there okay I don't worry about uh, what's happening with the uh, model here at this level because it's too early to uh, figure out what's uh, going wrong with your model so just keep it uh, simple don't complicate it so that's deltoid for you